hey guys uh, first of all thank you for clicking on my video and today I want to talk about sudo customization so we're gonna make uh, sudo looks better and the file that you're gonna add it is in etc sudoers but we're not gonna do it like you we usually do like sudo nano like this because this is not recommended this file cannot be edited with uh, must be edited with psudo command as root because if you break the sudo you're not gonna get be able to fix it because you basically cannot do any sudo to edit the files because you break the sudo you need to see a root into your system by using a li live media or whatever you have in your system and that's a uh, very hard to fix or very very annoying way to fix things so we're gonna do it like this and replace editor equals nano with uh, whatever text editor you're you like to use but it's has to be a uh, terminal based text editor or CLI based text editor so I'm gonna use nano you can use fee or fim whatever you like and fee sudo and you can even uh, uh, you can even put this environment into your uh, best profile so you don't need to do that anymore in the future you just need to do sudo v sudo and because I'm gonna do this one time so I don't care so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a command here so that we don't forget in the future uh, my customization like this and then all the the customization that we're gonna do uh, are all start with defaults like this and if you don't know how to do that this is the main page of sudo that this is all these are all the, the default option that you can use like for example you can uh, defaults authenticate or default environment reset environment editor like like for example you can add your environment editor to nano so in the future you you don't need to do that anymore so like this so in the future you don't need to use to editor equal nano anymore because uh, you already set it in your sudo words and just to save your time I'm gonna add in what uh, the, the things that I always add in my Linux distribution or Linux install is default installed and default pass prom equals please enter the password of p and you can replace uh, you can add in any any sentence that you want to use and uh, there are a lot not only pass p uh, not only person p you can also put it like this like h is hostname and uh, small h is your hostname without domain name and p is the user that y the password is being asked for uh, capital u is for the login name defaults to root uh, etc so the default value is password equals so we're gonna change that into this so it 
gives you a better better views defaults password feedback defaults password tries equals I like five and the defaults is three you can uh, password tries is uh, when you're typing the wrong password uh, it will only limit you to five times before uh, the command will be cancelled or will be sent you will be sent back to the terminal again and defaults timestamp timeout equals uh, 10 and what this do is what this does is it make your password that you have correctly entered will expire in 10 minutes so for example you did you did a command uh, with that requires sudo your super user and 10 minutes later it will ask you for a new password again the default is 5 I believe if I'm not mistaken and that's all that I do and if you don't want to it to ask you for the first password you can do it like this so your username my username is bootyman and all equals no password equals and you can just make it like this but because I want to only limit it to pacman so I'm gonna add it like this so what is do what is does is um, it will not ask for password if your command is sudo pacman and options so that's what it does so to save the file control x to exit and save press y to save and enter to override the file okay so so this is what why we should use vsudo to edit the file because it will ask you what do you want to do if the file is error so that's why we need uh, we have to use vsudo for this you guys so you can just press e to edit and it's basically i a typo here you need to press s in salt and we're done so uh, when I r oh sorry I misclick here when I open another terminal here oh sorry and for example I'm a sudo ls Oh, <sighs> maybe user bit nano. Okay. environmental sorry guys I haven't tried this before so I don't know okay so this is this doesn't take value sorry So we are just gonna make it like this, you guys. And I hope it's fixed now. Sudo ls and it will ask you for password. Look at what we did before. Please enter the password of percentage u. 
or my username that requires the password of my username and when I type in the password you can see that there are star star symbol before you mm, added the uh, pseudo your pseudo words it will not show you this and this is what uh, password feedback is giving you guys and I will accidentally uh, put in the wrong password and it will insult you and it will show you random quotes you can always uh, you can also uh, make your own insults and put it in a file you can read the manual uh, to learn more but I'm just gonna do this because it is already that good guys so look at this uh, insults here it's a very good insults and for f uh, as you remember before we made it to uh, password tries to five so this is the fifth time that I type in the wrong password and it will show you five incorrect password attempts and it will it will just cancel your command that you want to do so I think that's of the end of the video that's all I want to show you guys uh, so I forget that the last the last one that we do is so it will uh, not ask for password when you run sudo pacman because the last line there we added uh, no password for pacman so I think that's all guys I hope you enjoy this, vid this video and thank you for watching uh, please like my video if you like this and please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos from me and thank you for watching have a nice day guys